we have practical exam in September 2022 it's a class AM exam which is a small scooter we are starting in Bad Sodenam Taunus and we will come back to Bad Sodenam Taunus we were coming out of the underground car park where I have all the motorcycles uh, parked and we will finish at the Esso gas station. We are now on the main road in Bad Soden, which is the Königsteiner Street. And on the right side, the second shop is my driving school. A little bit rainy day, which is not so good for the two wheelers but sometimes you cannot choose. So we go straight and we have a split here. So the left lane is going straight and the right lane is going right. And he clearly places the, uh, the scooter on the left side of the road in the left half. Please turn right at the next traffic lights. Uh, traffic light is jumping to yellow for him it was okay for me not so he is turning and I told him with the radio that he needs to stop behind the right turn and he has to wait for me the radio connection uh, lasts for 10 kilometers I never tried it out but the manual of the radio says this but for hundreds of meters it's okay when we when we do the the extra exercises it's also working for hundreds of meters and more we did not test there he is he was waiting so he goes on driving we are back behind him Now we come to the pedestrian crossing. Hopefully it's free. Let's check left and right side. Yes, clearly free. Please turn right. Bitte rechts abbiegen. And from the 30 area we now come into the walking speed area. So he needs to slow down and drive less than 10. So you organize this with a little bit of acceleration and sometimes you have to brake if it's going too fast. And here it's recommended to use the left side of the brake, which is for the back wheel. Does anybody want to cross? Nobody there. Walking speed is over and we pass the 30 sign. Also, the class AM exam is as long as the class B exam. It's 55 minutes, but we are not going to a highway. And we have six exercises to do with the big two wheelers. And here with the small two wheelers, we only make four. Bitte links abbiegen. Please turn left. So the car with the trailer is a little bit on our side. That that's why he is not able to place the car pro the uh, the scooter properly at the center line. So one meter is missing. But he doesn't want to get killed. That's why he was placing the scooter there. 
checking and going and yeah if i follow with the car um, it's okay if i overdrive the stop sign especially if there are uh, cars coming that we are not getting separated from each other and we can stay together and then i have to overdrive stop signs Im Kreisel bitte die erste Ausfahrt. Please take exit number one in the next roundabout. We are still in the 30 area here. So the left car is indicating, the second car is also indicating, then we can go, the third car also going out of the roundabout and leaving at the first exit. Here's a new 30 sign after we have left the roundabout. And not very well to see, but behind the traffic light on the right side in the tree is the 50 sign. If you look out up right there, you see the 50. The scooter only can go speed of 45. If they give full throttle, probably 48, 49, downhill, probably 51 you have on your uh, speedometer, speedometer. An der Ampel geradeaus. Please go straight at the traffic lights. They have to have the full protection from helmet and jacket and the trousers. So it's jumping back. So this time for both of us possible to stop. And they need the motorcycle boots and the gloves. Otherwise it's not allowed that they take lessons and that they go to exam. If something is missing, the examiner will not drive with them and we instructor also are not allowed to drive with them. It's too dangerous if something happens, if they have an accident, if they fall off or someone hits them um, and they are injured and very often you're injured if you fall off the motorcycle then probably the insurance will not pay your uh, injuries And finally, green light. This is an electric scooter. It's uh, 2400 watts power and it's really nice. You can take the battery out of the scooter and you can charge it at home. So I always take it into the school and I charge it in the school. Because in the underground car park, I don't have electric power. And next, red traffic light. Going on. 
we go to Zulzbach. In Zulzbach, uh, we do the exercises like slalom and the emergency break and uh, dodging. And what else do we have? Ah, the normal slalom with 30 kilometers per hour and 7 meter intervals. Nächste Straße links abbiegen at the lights left. So we have to take care of oncoming traffic, nobody there, pedestrian way is free and entering the next street, 30 zone. Passing some parked cars, no oncoming traffic right now. And please turn right. Oh, there was a little mistake. No entry sign he saw. He raised his hand to tell I don't. Oh, another one. Yeah, uh, there were some problems with the dash cam. Whoa, we are back. So he made it over the traffic light and I'm still on the red light. Same game, he already did it right, so we do it again. We enter a 30 zone again. We just left a 30 zone, but now we enter one again. We just crossed the main road, so right before left everywhere, let's check the next street on the right side. And free to go and crossing. And another right before left over here, slowing down, and finally car is coming from the right side. I think the examiner ordered the people coming from the right side in such a quiet street. So, passing some parked cars, same style as always. Now we come to the place where we do the exercises. It's a quiet street in Sulzbach and we have space and time to, to set the cones on the street and let the student do the exercises. But the dash cam is not switched on while we do this because the car switched off. So I put another video for you what happens in the meantime.
we go on driving back to Bazoden. So we take the same street back. We are still in a 30 zone. But some exercises are faster than 30 and then we have to drive faster than 30 for the exercises, even in the exam. Emergency braking uh, has to be done with the speed of 40 with the scooters and with 50 with the big two wheelers. Yeah. That's what they have to do right before left and going on. And here from the right side they come down over curb stone. That's why there was no right before left. And here it's right before left again. The curb stone is turning into the street to the right side. But I hope you already know this. This knowledge is very important for exams. Here again. An der Ampel bitte links abbiegen. Please turn left. Ah, cut. I don't know why. Probably because the start stop automatic from the car was disconnecting the uh, power of the dash cam. As a left turner, we have to wait for our oncoming traffic and pedestrians on the left side after our turn, behind our turn. So, let's see. All free now against the sun it's the sun oh another cut we are already at the roundabout taking the first exit So now you see why this exam is so short. Minutes are missing and of course the minutes of the exercises are missing. The driving time is generally between 30 and 40 minutes and the rest of the time is uh, talking to the student and checking the ID, checking the documents from the driving school, uh, checking the payment. Yeah. And of course, the instructor, uh, the, the examiner has to give instructions that he has to tell the rules that we always go straight if nothing is said or if it's not possible that he has to raise the hand because he cannot speak to us. He can just hear what we say. But generally, the, uh, the driving instructor has the radio and the student hears the voice of his instructor and not from the examiner examiner says please turn right then the instructor says please turn right and then uh, generally the students confirm with uh, with the head Yeah, Main Street through Sultbach. We already had a big part of right before left area. Now it's the fluent traffic, the main road. We've had the exercises. We had the stop sign. We've had many, many things.
an der nächsten Ampel. Bitte links abbiegen. Please turn left at the traffic lights. And again we had a little cut. The oncoming traffic has green light right now. So we should not expect that we get green light at the same time. It's separated from each other. Red lights are perfect for the student. Waiting time is exam time. You just do nothing. You make your plannings, what's going on if it's going to green light, and then you should perfectly know what to do if it turns. We turn left here. Oncoming traffic has a red light. They are not moving. We already saw them driving when we did not have the green light. Now it's a country road, the speed limit is 60. Generally I avoid driving on the country road with the, with the scooters because 45 is the maximum speed. But here it's just for one kilometer and if he gives full throttle we come to probably 50. And then uh, it doesn't take so long. Another break, we were missing some minutes. <clears throat> At the traffic lights, please turn right to Bad Soden am Taunus. The traffic light is off for the right turner. We have to give way. Nobody coming. And another cut. He was changing from the right turning lane to the straight lane. And now we just go straight and turn left to the SO gas st station and finish this exam. But we are still in the game, we still can lose, but you can see the title, it's another past exam. So nothing more happens. Kind of boring, huh? Nothing happens. Another cut, we are very close to turn in, another waiting time because we need to wait for the oncoming traffic. And this was another fast driving exam. Congratulations to the scooter driver.